Good morning. Today I want to talk about the idea of job modification being given while you're under medical treatment. Say you've been off work for two or three weeks or two or three months, <clears throat> and then the doctor indicates, hey, you know what, I'm going to try to return you to modified duty, meaning some type of lighter work than what you're normally uh, doing as part of your job. Uh, so this is a critical point in the process of healing and returning back to work that we all want all of our clients to make sure that they are thinking toward that. However, sometimes clients feel like, wow, I'm not ready to go back to work, even modified duty, because they don't have any modified duty for me to do or something else in their mindset. This is a very critical time frame, though, for you to be thinking, wow, how can I try to work myself back into the workplace? Because obviously when you're working, you're entitled to your full wages as opposed to the temporary disability checks that you've been receiving. Uh, and so that can be a better thing financially for you and also help in the healing process. However, <clears throat> a lot of our clients call us and say, wow, I'm not ready to go back to work. What do I do? So just a few, I'm going to give you three concepts to think about with regard to <clears throat> uh, returning back to modified duty. You're not released by the doctor. You're still under active care. Perhaps you're undergoing physical therapy or acupuncture or some other uh, modality of treatment and yet you're still uh, not able to go back to your regular job, but the doctor wants to give you a trial return to work. I want you to have good communication with the doctor. That's the first very, very important part of this whole process. Make sure that he understands that you're willing to go back to work. However, that there's only certain things that you think you can do or whatever. He'll give you what he believes to be those activities that you either should avoid or that you could do, but not your full duties. Okay, so even if you disagree with the doctor, it is your responsibility to give it a try. I give it, I tell clients all the time, you know what, get back out there and do the best that you can so that it makes some sense that you're cooperating and trying to get back to work. The doctor can be completely wrong. He's not God, remember that. He's only trying to help move your case and move the healing process along. And a lot of that has to do with being able to successfully return to work. So when you think of the, what you can and can't do, whatever the doctor says, you go and take that slip of paper that the doctor lays out the restrictions or the modifications that are necessary. And you give it to the appropriate person at the, at the employer. That could be your supervisor. That could be the overall boss. Most likely it's going to be your supervisor or the HR department itself. Then give it the best shot you can. If you can do the work, that's great. Keep doing that work, okay? That's very helpful for you. You'll get stronger, you'll get better at it. Perhaps you'll move quicker toward resolution of the healing process, okay? But if on the other hand, you give it the college try, you try to work and you can no longer lift that 20 pounds that he thinks you should be able to lift, you've done it once, twice, five times, whatever it is, and then you say to your supervisor, Mr. Jones, I'm so sorry, I can't lift any more times that 20 pound that the doctor says I should be able to. I can't do it, even if it's in contradiction to what the doctor has said. That employer should return you back to the doctor, even though your appointment may not be for six more weeks. He should return you back to that employ that doctor and, <clears throat> and you talk to the doctor about, hey, I went out there, I did my 20, um, 20 pounds, no more than 20 pounds, but I did it three times. And on the fourth time, oh, my back hurt or my neck or my shoulder or whatever the issue is. So you've given it the try, you've told the doctor, and then he changes it and says, okay, well, I'm going to try to give you a 10-pound restriction. Can you try that? Well, I don't think so, but I'm willing to try, and you go back and do that. Now, that sounds like a lot of extra work, but trust me, it builds a lot of confidence in everybody in the system, the doctor for sure, that you're giving it the college try, the employer because you're coming back and trying to do the work. And finally, the insurance company and the defense attorney, they need to see that you're out there helping and trying to make that process work and you give it a try and you can't do it, then that's all they can do. And you go, you go back on temporary disability until the doctor says it's time for you to be declared and released and declared MMI. So those are the, some of the concepts that I want you to think about when the doctor talks, talks about job modification. Uh, the employer has to be involved in it. You have to give it the best shot that you can. Hopefully you can go do it. If you can't, you come back to the doctor, tell him that. And if he still gives you modifications and you know that that's going to be exceeding, you give us a call.
Thank you very much. I hope that's clear. And if there's any questions, as always, please let me know. Thanks.